What's going on everybody? Starting the day off with this guy here, Big O, Steve Parks. If you guys don't know who this guy is, let's see, we need a, we need this, right here. If you, yeah, if you guys have ever bought in a package anywhere that looks like this, that's the guy who designed all the baits. So probably 99.999% of you guys have caught fish on lures he's designed. He is one of the best, I should say one of the, the best bait designers in the entire world. And I am on a boat with him today and with my boy Jesus for I think the fourth, fourth day out of four out of five, which is good. He's my good luck charm. He is my good luck charm. But we are out here. He's throwing spinner bait. I think I'm gonna start off with the top water. Beautiful morning, last day in Mexico. I need to catch a 10 pounder. My PB has been broken. Now it is 9.8 pounds. 10 pounder is the goal today. Do you think it's possible? Uh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> we can get there. Yeah, okay. All right, so 10 pounder, that is the goal today. I'm also gonna give you guys some tips. I haven't done a whole lot of tips on this Me Mexico trip. This guy has more knowledge than you guys would know what to do with. So throughout the day, I'm going to have Mr. Steve Parks give you guys some knowledge, catch more and bigger bass. That was easy. First cast. <laughs> First cast. First cast, it's not a bad one, I don't think. Oh, he's foul hooked, that's why. Come here, little guy. Sorry about that, dude. He's in the boat. All right, first one on the top water. See, you, buddy. There's one. That's a, that, that's a, that's a good one. That's a good one. Stay on, buddy. Uh, yeah, let's get the net on this just because it's treble, treble hooks. Yeah, buddy, top water finally. Woo! Okay, just barely got him with that last little treble. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, ladies and gentlemen, top water bite is on this morning. Finally, I haven't, I haven't really been using it the last couple days. That's a decent fish. Three. Three or so, probably a little bit more. These fish are actually pretty deceiving because they're heavier than they actually look. They don't look that big, but they're actually pretty stinking heavy. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah, three, three and a half. All right, see you later, buddy. Boom! All right. You guys can see here, throwing that little chug bug. This is the top the only top one I've really thrown this entire trip. And I haven't thrown it the last couple of days, so I was focusing on the spinnerbait bite, because that's what was catching the Mondos so far on this trip, but it looks like, uh, looks like the top water's hitting it this morning. Uh oh, uh oh, that's a big one. It's gonna get you around that tree. Ooh, big O's hooked up here. That's spinnerbait bite. Oh, that's not bad. See, we well, don't bend the spinnerbait. It's always good to net these fish because unless you want to ruin your spinnerbait real fast, trying to lift a fish in the in the boat with a spinnerbait in his mouth is. Is just stretching those blades out pretty bad. Everybody, Not a bad one though. We'll, ta little we'll take it. Yeah. It's a good start to the morning. Bait fish of the morning. That's right. But I think we're going to get some great biggins too. So there you go. Nice. Good job. All right. We're starting to catch them, folks. It's going to be a good day. We're going to we'll stumble on something. Oh, there it is. I just said we're going to stumble on something. That's a giant. Oh, good gosh. That is a mammoth of a largemouth. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, that's what we was looking for right there. Great old big one. See her tail bloody right there? Oh yeah. Look at that. She's still, she's starting to feel a little bit there. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I think they're getting started. Yep. They really are. What do we got? Woo oh man. We got... She's trying to be a 10-10. 10. 10. Ah, 10, 10? 10, 10. Oh my Red goodness. 10, 10. 10, 10. <laughs> Y'all looky there, she's, she's starting to drop a little bit, so she's wanting to spawn, and you can see her tail's a little bit bloody. So this is the, this is getting toward the middle of, it's about middle of December, late in December, and they're already spawning down here, so sometimes they spawn like for three months. 
Bye, baby. So he just caught that giant fish, and we spent all morning kind of just picking out different spots, and Big O and I, we noticed why that big, we think why that big fish was there. You can see that tree, I don't know how well you guys see it, but that there's a big hardwood tree, and there's not a ton of those guys around here. A lot of it's just kind of bushy stuff, so it's a hardwood tree offshore, and they're moving up to spawn, so they're kind of they're getting pushed up, and that is the first piece of structure that is there for them to hide on. So a hardwood like that makes a good waiting spot. She's waiting for a male because again, they're waiting to spawn. It takes two to tango, folks. So if she's gonna wait there for a male, then they're gonna go do their business there in a couple weeks or so. Very fun catching those giant fish on a spinnerbait. Let's see if we can catch another one. That's a big one. Good, good, good. Yep, that's a, that's a big one. That's a big one. Yep, that's a, that's a big fish. Yep, that that's a giant. Oh God, here we go, boys. That is a giant. Here we go, we got a giant. Oh God, oh God, stay down, buddy. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. That's a good one. <laughs> here we go, boys. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh God. Easy, easy, easy. Oh my god. Don't get her in the trees. You Come got her pretty good. She's an old girl. Bring her here. Bring her here. Bring her here. <laughs> yes! Yes! We made at least 30 casts on that spot you before we caught find that them fish. Before you can catch them. Oh my god. Look at that big mammoth jam. <laughs> We made no so many casts before that <laughs> big girl ate it. Oh man, that is a big old girl. So you were saying this is a, you call it a swag or a saddle? Swag or a saddle. Swag or a saddle, right okay. And so. And it's a hundred yards long. Yeah. And it's one of the main passes that they have to go through to get to spawning ground. Got it, okay, so it's a little track, it's like a highway. Yeah. So got it. And it's got, it's got, it's got all kinds of brush on it with tilapia feeding on it. Yep. Before they go to bed, what are they doing? They're eating. Yep. And this is one of those places that's a transition for them to go back into spawn. 6'3". Six, 6'3". Three. Six, three. Hoo hoo, baby. My first good one of the day, folks. I'm gonna get the uh, gonna get a quick photo and then then a release. There she, goes. there she goes. See you, Becky. Woo! Smoked them. Yeah, like we were we were explaining a little bit here. Kind of hard to see. So there's kind of an island. And there's a point, and then it, there's a, they call it a swag or a saddle. It goes just like that, and it's like a little highway that the fish fish go up in, and they, uh, they're headed back to go spawn, and this is like a little staging area. And uh, we, made, we fan cast this area for at least the last 30 minutes, and made dozens and dozens of casts, and I was slowly dragging it, and it just, she smoked it. Yeah, there's a lot of brush out there to hold it. Lots of brush, yep, so it's just a little saddle, and then brush, and they just hang out in there, and and stage up. Ooh! Big O's hooked up, baby. Here we go. Oh my God, that's another, that's another toad. Oh golly. Uh-oh, oh my God. This ain't no little girl. Oh my God, look how big that fish is. <laughs> what? What? Look out, Grandma. Good God. <laughs> what do you think about that, Asus? Mucho grande. Bueno. <laughs> Mucho grande. Bueno. Oh my God. That, that's not a toad. Anywhere. Yeah, that is good. a good one. This is what you get when you, cut, cut, when you come down here with Ron Speed Jr. Adventures at Commodore. You get big old toads just like this big girl. If you get a chance, you need to come on down here. Eight. Oh, excuse me. I think it says eight six. Eight eight seven eight 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 nine. Eight eight. Eight eight. Eight seven. Okay. Name her Dolly. Dolly? Alright, see you. Dolly. See you later, Dolly. Back in the water Dolly goes. Another big one. Pretty close to the same spot, not exactly. This one was off this point here, and we got some hardwood, which has been key. He caught the 10 off of hardwood. I caught mine off brush, and then he just caught that big one. So obviously the bigger girls are gonna be in the hardwood. We got a little point going on here. Hardwood as in like trees, you know, like thicker trees is what we're talking about. And there's a lot of hardwoods that aren't, you can't see above the surface because it's about 18 to 20 foot there. So we target the hardwoods that you can see but also fan cast a lot of this area because it's a big point with brush all over it, but there's hardwood sticking up out there. And these fish that are getting 
they're getting ready to go into spawn. They're holding on these hardwoods out here. So all we do is fan cast until we find one of them and then go after them. That's right. There you go, folks. Hopefully you all are taking notes because this guy is filling this video with words of wisdom. Let's catch another. There's one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Yep, yeah, that's a good one. Yep, yeah, that's a big one. Yep, big one. Big one, baby. Oh, snap. Ate it just like a like a small fish, but when I set that hook, good God, that's a giant. Oh, Lordy. Get in there. Get in there, big girl. Yes, that's a tank. You oh, called it. You said someone's gonna catch a big one. Big someone's gonna catch a big one. That's it, folks. Look at that. That's what we're after, folks. Not not a mammoth, but it's a good fish. Puts up a hell of a fight. We're gonna get a quick weight on her. Five, six. Six on the dot. Six on the money. Beautiful, look at that. All that, all the blood on her. She's getting ready to lay some eggs. Make some more, make some more fish. All right, bye Felicia. Felicia. Yes! Woo! Six pound, that's two six pounders. You've got a 10 and an eight. Yeah. And you probably got like another couple sixes or something. We didn't even weigh, we, he doesn't even weigh anything if it's not an, over 10 pounds. We have had some tremendous success so far and it's not even lunchtime. It's gonna be a good day. I think I've got a good feeling that I may or may not break my PB today. I don't know, I don't wanna jinx it or anything, but the fish, we're starting to, we're starting to get them figured out. There's one. Oh my god, I got smoked right there. Maybe. He's the last one, huh? It came back. It came back. Hey, that's fine fish. It's not a bad fish. It's not a bad fish. Yep, yeah, no, yeah, he came back. He came back. That's what happens. That's what you got to throw back in there. Not a giant, but I'll take him. Look at that. It's long, skinny fish. Oh my god. Look how long that is. Yeah. Super long fish, but he choked it. Yeah, he smoked it. He just smoked it on the first cast, and I made the basically identical cast. Same bait, same everything, and, uh, and it ate it. So don't go. Oh, look at that. He's got one eye. Yeah, He's him. blind. One eye. We got one eye wonder over here. Homie's having a hard time finding food, obviously. He's not looking, looking too hot. We're going to get him back. See you later, dude. Well, that just soaked me. Two hours later. How's it going, everybody? Uh, I am not with Big O. This guy right here, this is Terry. Now, for those of you guys that don't know who this is, you probably already watched the other guys' videos with this dude, but he is responsible for mine, Perrick's, John B's, Lunkers TV, and Perrick's camera guys, PB this week. He's the one that makes the baits that we've all used to catch the big fish, the jig and the spinner bit that you guys have seen, myself and everybody else use, he makes them. So we switched boats, so instead of going with Big O, uh, Lake Fork guy I believe is with Big O. You have a fish? Yep. And uh, a this, is, this, is, this is why I went fishing with him, because he's, he's on the fish right now. So we're gonna basically end the day uh, on this boat. Yeah, a little, little squeaker, nothing to get too excited over. Uh, but the beginning of the day, the first half of the day before lunch was pretty good. Now we are just starting the afternoon. I'm really hoping to catch catch a 10 pounder. That's one thing I have not done yet this trip, but it's been good. So maybe that little fish, that's a good sign. There you go. There you go. Jigged him up. Biggin. Here we go. Terry's, Terry's hooked up. What we got? Oh man, looking like big mama. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that slaunch. Oh my God. <laughs> you were determined just jigging away up there. You weren't lying, they're down there. You just gotta make them bite, right? That's a spot. What do we got? 7.93. Seven, yeah. I thought she was a little Se Seven. Call it 790. Mm -hmm. There you go, almost an eight. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. We gotta, I gotta start throwing a jig now. Ooh. So, ooh. There he goes again. He's got it, he's got it. It's a good one too. It's a good one too. Yep. I saw him eat it. I saw him eat it. Oh God. 
It's a good one. I don't see any. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you followed it all the way out here. Yeah, that's a big fish. That is a big fish. All right, it's coming. Get in the, get in the net. Woo! Yes! Look at that, folks. <laughs> this guy hit it three times before he actually, actually ate it, ate it. I did not think he was this big. I don't know how much this guy weighs. Let me toss him on the scale real quick just to find out. We got 487, so almost a five pounder. Gracias, amigo. Not a bad one. My first one after lunch smoked the spinnerbait. On, on, like you said, a nothing bank. There's, there was nothing. There's some brush, but there's no points. They've pretty much been relating to points so far, but absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous bass. Como te llama? Gustavo. Gustavo? All right, I'm naming this one after you. See you later, Gustavo. Adios. Woo! On the spinnerbait. You guys see that? See that guy up front? He he makes these. Are you? Do you sell these online? You do? Well, okay. If you guys want this bait, caught my PB and all the fish today and all week. I'll link it down below. Odomjigs.com. Odomjigs.com. That dude right there makes them. Uh oh. That's a giant, isn't it? That's a big one. Uh oh. It's about time. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, man. Here we go. It's about stinking time. Oh, big old girl. Seven, seven and a half. Yeah, yeah. seven and a half. Not a bad one. That fish would have been a lot heavier than that. She had a little taller on her. Yeah, that's a great fish. See you, buddy. Good work. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Finally uh, caught a big one. As you guys can see, sun is starting to kind of set here. I actually just picked up the old top water. Going to try to catch a top water fish here. And uh, we've covered a lot of water without catching any big fish. And then I don't know where. That big girl shows up, so it could get interesting. Here we go, we're hooked up, the last one. This is gonna, this is gonna end her. There you go. Woo! Yeah, dang, that's a football. Six, six, seven. There you go. <laughs> Woo! She gave you a shower. Well, folks, uh, end the video here. Great day on the water. Got to witness my first 10 pounder ever being caught. And uh, I caught some decent fish. Big O caught some good fish. Terry caught some good fish. We all had a great time. Today was the final day here in Mexico. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the series. And if you did, make sure you leave a like on this video. Drop comments down below. Tell me where you want me to go next. This was kind of my first like series that I've done in a, in a long time where I stayed at one location for, we were here for, I don't know, nine, 10 days or so. Seven days, I think, of fishing total. Um, so, you know, we were obviously just hunting for PB. PB hunting is essentially what we were doing this week. But if you guys did enjoy something like this, let me know and let me know where you want me to go next. Maybe a big ice fishing tour or something like that, hunting, anything like that. Let me know in the comment section down below. Really appreciate you guys tuning in to the final episode of the Mexico tour. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.